my favorite moments are when, uh, when a student really has a light bulb moment, when something clicks for them, um, sometimes something they've been frustrated with and they break through to the other side of that frustration. I think that's a really important part of our role as teachers because we see the other side of that and they don't see it yet. Music and making music is just endlessly fascinating because it requires every part of us. Oops. Cut. <laughs> You're never done. There's always some other thing to try, some other thing to explore. And even um, working on standard repertoire with different students over the years, I don't get tired of those pieces because it's a different piece every time a different student plays it. It's never the same river twice. I had a student working on a Mozart concerto, uh, very standard repertoire. Um, you get to the point in the piece where the composer uh, just puts a pause in the solo part and the performer at the time in the 18th century would have improvised a cadenza, a little soloistic bit when the orchestra accompaniment stops. I always make my students write their own and we work on how to have a framework for it and they've studied theory, they've studied. And she was so convinced that this was something she was absolutely not capable of doing, that the idea of, of being a composer was just... Um, and the week that she came in, not with one cadenza, but with two alternatives of her own composing, she just bounced into my office. The thing that she was so convinced she was incapable of doing became the thing she just did, and did twice. <laughs> I, I will never forget the look on her face. I'm a flutist, and so my research and creative activities are, are in that area. As a performer, uh, my interests are divided mainly between uh, orchestral playing um, and I'm a member of the Madison Symphony Orchestra. I'm their piccolo player and also play flute with them. Piccolo is a very tiny flute, a fearsome beast. Um, my uh, chief interest though in my, in my research and my performing is playing on reproductions of historical instruments. So playing Bach on a flute that Bach would have recognized. So you have that combination of individualized attention and a really fantastic student-teacher ratio but a huge variety of ensembles um, and different kinds of majors and minors, different ways to, to be a musician, different ways to participate. I have a student who's one of my advisees who is majoring in music business and recording and double majoring in um, composition. His main instrument is guitar, but he's studying the viola da gamba. He's been taking harp lessons. Now he's an exceptional student, but that exceptional student at another school wouldn't have the opportunity to follow those interests. There would be no harp teacher, there would be no viola da gamba, there would be none of those, those extra ensembles. I'm so grateful for what I received from my own teachers that um, the thought of being able to, to be a part of that same uh, journey for another generation of students just seemed like a great way to spend my, spend my time.